Oh no, how are, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for having me in your lovely. You look so store. amazing. Thank you. I love your shoes too. Thank you, thank you. So tell us, what are you most excited about in life right now? Oh, my baby, Aya. Oh, okay, fantastic. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. What are you reading right now? Well, okay, I'm reading this book. It's an amazing book, um, How to Age. I've forgotten the name. Okay. It's really nice. Great. Yeah. What song are you currently obsessed with now? Um, oh, um, there's a song we're playing for our show coming on Saturday, and I would love you guys to listen to it. It's amazing. Okay, we're just going to wait then. Thank you. If you were not a fashion designer, what would you be doing? I'll be a theater artist. Okay. What's something you still love to learn? I still love to learn about fashion. I think fashion. I just want to evolve. Yeah. Great. What excites you most about fashion then? Um, fashion. Fashion is just about yourself. Just be yourself. So I'm always excited to know that. Yeah. Okay, great. What's the favorite aspect of your job? My favorite aspect of my job is waking up every morning and coming to work. And what is the hardest thing about your job? Hardest thing about my job? I would say being in Nigeria is so difficult, no support for designers and electricity, bad electricity, so many things. So I would say Nigeria. That's yeah. sad, you know. Uh, what's a fashion rule that you completely disagree with? Oh, of course, being so conventional is not, it's not great at all. Okay, right. Okay. Uh, if you could meet anyone in the world now, who would that be? Um, Jennifer Lopez, because I love her. Okay, yeah. amazing. Yeah. What's one item every woman should own in her wardrobe? Lipstick, of course. Yeah. What's your greatest achievement so far? Oh, being a mother. It's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. How would you describe your personal style? My personal style is fun and it's quirky and it's simple at the same time. Okay. What's the most important thing to have ever happened in the fashion world? Social media. I agree. Yeah, social media. What trend do you wish would never ever return? There's so many. I don't, I don't follow trends, so I don't want to mention them. <laughs> okay. Where do you hope to see Nigerian fashion in the next five years? Everywhere in the world. And what makes your brand unique? Because it's artistic, it's timeless, and it's original. Okay. If you were a hashtag, what would that be? Be you. Okay. And who would you consider to be your muse? Hmm, of course, my twin sister. <laughs> Olivia, how are you? Fine, thank you. See you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, so, Olivia, tell us, what can, what can we expect from Arise, your collection with Arise? Um, the usual, our usual aesthetics, you know, playful, unique, and colorful. Okay. So, how would you describe yourself? Um, simple. Really? Uh, yes. Uh, I love simplicity. Okay. How do you feel you're perceived? Um, uh, as an honest person. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Great. I think so too. Uh, who do you admire the most? My mom. Yeah. I'm not your sister. She's right next to you. No, 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 no. She's, she's like... My, she's like part of me, so my, I'll say my mom, she's our role model. Okay, all right. So what's the best advice you ever received in your life? Well, uh, from my late father, he said, you should always be consistent. Whatever you're doing in life, just be consistent. So I think that's great advice. Okay. What advice will you offer to your 16-year-old self? Um, be brave, you know. Stand for yourself and be confident. Okay, great. How do you react to criticism? I actually love criticism because it makes me, you know, it brings out the better version of me. So I love, um, what's it called? The positive ones, right? And I, I make constructive criticism, so I love it a lot. Okay, so what fashion advice will you give to me? Um, <laughs> give to you. 
Hmm. Let me see. Um. I think I think oh no I think oh no I think you have your own personal style you know I think you you know what you want so I think you I think you're on the right track. Okay, thank you. So, what's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? First thing I do when I I, I do the sign of the cross. Right, yeah. Great. Okay, great. What's the best fashion secret you've ever learned? Fashion secret? Um, I would say. Um, fashion secret. I would say be you, like do you in fashion. Don't be somebody else. So just do you and you, you see you excel in your field. Okay. And what's your biggest goal for 2019? To be a better version of myself. Yeah. All right, great. So how do you relax? Um, I love cooking. So I think I would say cooking. Okay. How long have you been in the fashion business for? Um, since 2010. Okay, great. And what is the first item you sold from your brand? Um, I think that was in uni, back then in uni. I can't really, really trace the particular piece, but I think it was in university. Yeah. If you could offer one piece of advice to a young designer out there, what would that be? Just one? Yeah. Just okay, yeah. be passionate. Yeah. When does inspiration usually strike? Um, um, I, I would say fabrics, you know, colors inspire, inspire my creativity, you know. So I would say, um, I think when, I'm, when we're doing um, fabric shopping. Okay, all right. What is your biggest pet peeve? Lies. Okay, all right. <laughs> Everybody hates that. <laughs> What's your favorite fashion moment? Uh, fashion moment. I think when we're taking the bow, after a, a successful fashion show. So that's it for now. Thank you so much, guys, for having me. See you soon. See you. <laughs>